toughest and largest rivalries in all of SEC football, otherwise known as the largest outdoor cocktail party, is about to commence. The University of Florida versus the Georgia Bulldogs. Hey there, Gator fans. I'm Jennifer Eckhart. And I'm George Pappas. The Gators find themselves at a critical juncture in the course of their season, coming off a three-game skid against Alabama, LSU, and most recently, the Auburn Tigers. They have a chance in Jacksonville against their rivals to turn their season in a better direction. For what it's worth, the Gators came into this season with its youngest secondary in its program's history, and their offense finally welcomed back John Brantley. Although the Gators haven't had quite the success as most people anticipated, instead of juggling between two freshman options, John Brantley will now be playing this Saturday. Of course, the Gators have not had John Brantley in the game, and on the offensive side, they've not been able to stretch the football field. It's something that's allowed defenses to key in on Gator running backs, and of course, the ground game has sputtered as well. Well, although the future is unclear, the number 22 ranked Georgia Bulldogs incomprehensibly argue that they hold one more victory against the University of Florida. Now the real question is, can the Gators prevent a four game losing streak? Well, Jen, I think that's gonna be a very tough task for this Florida Gator football team. It's up against one of the better Bulldog teams that we've seen in this series in the last couple of years here. And a lot of that has to do with the emergence of Aaron Murray as one of the top passers in the Southeastern Conference. If you recall, Murray threw for more than 300 yards and three touchdowns in last year's game against a more seasoned Florida defense. And this year, he adds a budding freshman running back in Isaiah Crowell in the mix. And I have to agree with you, George. Last Monday, Florida head coach Will Muschamp said that losing Brantley psychologically shocked the Florida Gators. I personally feel having Brantley back out on that field, it will only cause the Florida Gators to rally and potentially break their losing streak. Reporting inside the football complex in Gainesville, I'm George Pappas. And I'm Jennifer Eckhart. We'll see you in Jacksonville. <laughs>